Welcome to October the 12th. I'll start from 2017, work back to 2013, and see what happens. Don't give up on hope. A friend has asked the question, how many harassed Weinstein victims ended up rich and famous, eh? Which explains why evil festers. We live on hope. Weinstein was an open secret, yet someone like George Clooney can say he did not know and would not condone it. Also, it turns out a comic who joked in an award ceremony had known and barbed home. Many of those marching vaginas against Trump may have known but did not care because Weinstein is not a known conservative. Weinstein may yet be forgiven by the likes of Whoopi Goldberg, who famously endorsed Roman Polanski. I bet Weinstein destroyed more careers than were made by him. I also bet that any actress that prospered did so despite Weinstein. I once read that serial killers get their victims to comply with their murder by offering hope. That by taking an action they can do better. So they would dig a ditch, tie themselves up and allow what they might otherwise have fought for because of hope. Fatty Arbuckle did not create the casting couch, neither will it end with Weinstein. There is hope even for those lost seeking it. 1 Thessalonians 13-18 to Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. I loved the Joe Michael Straczynski Babylon 5 season 3 ending. Jaquan wrote, There is a greater darkness than the one we fight. It is the darkness of the soul that has lost its way. The war we fight is not against powers and principalities. It is against chaos and despair. Greater than the death of flesh is the death of hope, the death of dreams. Against this peril, we can never surrender. The future is all around us, waiting in moments of transition, to be born in moments of revelation. No one knows the shape of the future or where it will take us. We know only that it is always born in pain. The Australian Liberal Party will experience all sorts of pain until Tony Abbott, or a suitable inheritor, is leader. The US GOP will experience lots of pain until they realize that Trump is an excellent president. The US Dems will suffer until they realize Hillary Rodden Clinton was a lousy candidate. The one who offers hope is not the one who, like Shorten or Obama, claim that AGW threatens the world. The one who offers hope is the one who, like Abbott and Trump, point out that the world must turn as we seek to do what we can.